Hey, can you pick up a card on your way home? My coworker's husband just got deported. Lice of loved ones. <laughs> oh, 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 no. What the f*** is wrong with you? Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. It's me, Eyes. And today we're going to be taking a look at some face palm. Hopefully your palms are nice and lubricated because boy is this gonna get slippery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The fuck does that mean? Milwaukee County Zoo. One star! Okay, so first off, me and my family love to visit all different types of zoos. Elephants being my all-time favorite. When we took my daughter to see the elephants, I was mortified by the absolute lack of care and concern. This elephant had the largest erection I have ever seen. My daughter began asking me what that was, and she's only three. If the staff took care of these poor animals and relieved them, then maybe my three-year-old wouldn't be asking about gigantic elephant erections. Okay, so let's let's see here. Being angry at the zoo for... <sighs> check, check, check notes. Not wanking off the elephants. Also, um, if explaining that to your daughter was bad enough, how are you going to explain suddenly the white Christmas present the poor zookeeper gets, huh? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? World's largest gooning session. Goon cave. Gooning meetup. <laughs> Gooning themed Halloween party. Gooning Guinness World <laughs> Record, Gooning Economy, Goon Circle, the world's largest goon. It's, this is not based on my search history. Stop saying that. <laughs> f f fellas, is is it gay to drink water? B because uh. This person says so. Men who carry water bottles out in public give me the ick, especially at the airport. You can't go a few hours without having your little sips of water. Carrying around anything is a feminine trait. The only things that men should be carrying around are his wallet and a pocket knife. Not even a phone so he can't text other women or his keys to his car. Where that man gotta be with those keys, huh? With other bitches? Who he's trying to call with that phone? Other bitches? That pocket knife is so he can ward off the bitches. Someone has now stolen my car battery. God damn. I'm so fucking tired. Can I please catch a break? Please do not call the police. You could put a BIPOC's life at risk by causing police interaction. Just buy a new battery. Hey, um... No one said anything about race. Well, we all know it wasn't a white person who took it. Whoever took it was in need. And it's not like they're stealing diamonds. Okay. What? Are you, are you trying to fight racism with racism? What the f*** is going on? We're all about to take a look at the shared brain cell the alpha male community has in orbit of each other. Red, red is not the alpha male, by the way. My wife and daughter are absolutely beautiful. Blue, you are getting cucked big time, dude. You're most likely raising your daughter to be an OnlyFans whore while she's getting railed by Tyrone at the club. Having a daughter is like having a disloyal wife that you can't have sex. <laughs> That's what you think of when you think of having a daughter? Good. God. The phrase, the quick brown fox jumps of the lazy dog, contains every letter of the alphabet. There's no W. Yes, it is. It's right there. There's no letter E. That'd be right there, bud, in the over, and the the, and the other the. V? Yes, that'd be right there. Back in the over. Z, V, and K are missing. Uh, no, bud, it's in lazy, over, and quick. Where's the V? I just said that. It's an over. I'm not racist, but... What a good way to start off a tweet, bud. Like, <laughs> good God. 
anime is supposed to be an escape from all the politics the real world shoved down our throats. Like black people. Adding black people kinda just defeats the whole purpose. That was- <laughs> That was- that was supposed to be a joke, but that was actually- That was actually what it turned out to be! Witness the legend like it's never been told before. LeSean Thomas joins with anime hitmakers Mappa for Yasuke. For Yasuka. I- uh, it's what- Google! Solve it for me! Yasuke. Thank you. A new series following the legendary African Samurai premiering on Netflix April 29th. This is based on a true story, by the way, and this chuckle fuck is calling it political because it has a black guy in it. Well, man, just come over. Yeah, I gotta get dressed. We're gonna have to go to the back porch because my mom is in the basement right now. It's not hot out, so we're good. Kick your mom out. Tell her you're the alpha male. Patrick, she's the sole breadwinner. That, uh, that is not a good idea. If you unironically, like, you know, say that you're an alpha male, you, you, you aren't. You're not an alpha male. You're at least a gamma male. Ugh. Is anyone gonna even get the Brave New World reference? Or like, you know, is, is that just... Is that just gonna go the wayside? Some fucking guy. Consultant Technology Management. A CMT. Something, 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 something. I can suggest an equation that has the potential to impact the future. E equals MC squared plus... Uh, plus AI. I'm going to fucking break something over your head. This equation combines Einstein's famous equation E equals MC squared, which relates energy E to mass M and the speed of light C with the addition of AI, or artificial intelligence. By including AI in the equation, it symbolizes the increasing role of artificial intelligence in shaping and transforming our future. This equation highlights the potential for AI to unlock new forms of energy, enhance scientific discoveries, and revolutionize various fields such as healthcare, transportation, and technology. I'm going to fucking scream! Good God! Physics MIT PhD, Physics CS, Princeton, dot dot dot. Someone who actually knows what they're talking about. What? What? One of the worst parts of this is I know this isn't satire. Good God! Buzzfeed. This is not a drill. Dear men, Please stop wearing cargo shorts. No! I refuse! You will not take away my bountiful pockets where I could store several loaves of bread! How dare you even threaten me with the notion of taking my glorious ability to store all the rocks I could ever desire on a camping trip? How dare you? No, but seriously, cargo shorts are just like amazing and what's even better is cargo pants. You have any idea how many pockets you have access to? More than six! This is from a creationist science textbook called Science for Christian Schools. A picture of a, of a woman. Electricity is a mystery. No one has ever observed it, or heard it, or felt it. Grab the outlet and see if that's still in your conclusion. <laughs> we can see it and hear it and feel only what electricity does. <laughs> so you can feel it. <laughs> we know that it makes light bulbs shine and irons heat up and telephones ring, but we cannot say what electricity itself is like. We cannot even say where electricity comes from. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> That's... Okay. Some scientists think the sun may be the source of most electricity. Others think that the movement of the earth produces some of it. All anyone knows is that electricity seems to be everywhere, and there are many ways to bring it forth. Good fucking God. Okay. You know what? It's a creationist textbook. This was to be expected. Go touch the outlet and see if your conclusion changes. In Minecraft, of course. Uh, 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 obligatory in Minecraft. Only touch the outlets in Minecraft.
I moved because, you know, what's wrong with being a gay? There's only two gender, even in Animal Kingdom. It's not true. And we're basically count as animals too. So there's only male and female, not gay. Ah yes, my favorite gender, gay. I diagnose you with fruit. So in my computer, this file is just named bastard. I want you to guess why. My wife left because she was programmed by radical feminism to believe that she could just break her marriage vows and file for divorce under the concept of irreconcilable differences. Our differences were irreconcilable because she was unsubmissive, physically and verbally abusive. And when I finally physically handled her for her disrespect and insubordinate behavior, she turned on me and used her parents and the justice system to prevent my rights as a man and her husband to discipline her for her behavior. Step off, you little bitch. I hope you can understand why I called this man, Lone Star 117, a bastard. God, don't you just hate it when those homosexuals make that their whole personality? That's all they talk about, and that's just, you know, what what they what they live for and you can't go anywhere without them making it like in your face and just shoving it in your face and uh, if there is no god why don't atheists indulge in their darkest desires i know you've probably heard this argument before but i have yet to meet an atheist engaged with the argument honestly i'm also not an atheist by the way according to many theists god is the source of all morality it's sound logic if you have moral laws, you need a moral lawgiver. Under an atheist framework though, who is the moral lawgiver? It can't be the government because governments have different laws. There is no source of objective morality to tell you that indulging evil desires like fucking kids or strangling someone who pisses you off or praising Hitler is wrong. So why don't you do it? Well, the simplest answer is, is that I, I don't want to do those things. That, that That's honestly the easiest fucking answer to it. But, you know, this also implies that the only thing stopping you from doing this, this, and this is a book. So what does that say about you? Also, because I don't want to be accused of dodging the question, Without becoming too much of a philosophy fucker on main, just do a little bit of research into something called the social contract that, that should answer all of your questions. It's essentially the golden rule you should have learned when you were four years old. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Now, now to the philosophy like majors out there, that is a very gross simplification and I understand that. So, so please don't come after me in the comments. Facebook. You guys know it's gonna be horrible. I'm Gen X, and I have a huge problem with how I'm left carrying the weight for millennials. For example, I'm 42 and my daughter is 22. She decided a while ago she does not want to have any kids. She's actually getting a procedure for sterilization next year. But those souls needing to come into our family for ancestral or karmic reasons still need to be born. So I'm stuck with birthing and raising two babies who should have been born to her but can't be because she's too selfish to have kids. We joke how my one and a half year old girl, her sibling, is actually hers, but she just didn't want to have it. But deep down, it's not a joke. If she wasn't so selfish, I wouldn't have a toddler daughter right now. What the f***? Famous last words. A Florida fisherman bitten by shark pulled overboard in the Everglades. Eh, two seconds won't do anything. I wouldn't put your hands in there, a person off camera says. <laughs> Two seconds won't do anything, the man replies. Seconds before the shark bites his hand as he dips into the water. Attention satanic socialists. This is the home of a patriotic Christian family. We work hard and pay taxes. Wait, you pay taxes? That's socialism. Hey! This person has an ideological framework that contradicts itself! Get him! We do not celebrate Satan's Day. We do not give away free candy to lazy, entitled, free, low, free, 
freeload. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be freeloaders, but free ladles. <laughs> I don't know. No handouts. Welcome to America. If you want candy, get a job and find Jesus. Hey, so a uh, quick question. Uh, surely you've of course read the Bible. Uh, what was what was Jesus's whole shtick? Huh? Was it something along the lines of, uh, I I don't know, maybe handouts? Is that possible? Bread and wine to the poor, hanging with the prostitutes and outcasts. Jesus was a. <laughs> Uh, you know what? The irony is lost upon them. Oh boy, it's my birthday! You know what that means? Nothing. Nothing. It means nothing. Except for the fact that I'm doing a stream after this. That's... It's all it means, because I don't really have the means to celebrate my birthday right now, because of reasons! Yay! Anyways, hope to see some of you faces there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz and, uh, yeah.